exercise sequence is called a hip 90-90. Um, and so what we're going to have you set up is on the floor, we're going to get you in essentially two 90 degree angles with your upper and lower legs. So as you'll know this, that my front leg is coming right out of my hip acetabulum and then my lower leg is coming out to a 90-90. And my back leg is also being set up in the same 90-90 pattern. Now this right here might be hard enough for you to stay and feel in position too. Now if you feel any tightness in your back piriformis hip area, that's something to notice. Sometimes people feel it in their front adductor, also something to notice. If that is showing up for you before starting the exercise, it might be prudent to take a moment, do some piriformis stretching here, maybe some adductor stretching here, to lengthen out inside of the legs. Uh, also, pop on a foam roller, uh, give yourself a little roll in those uh, in those specific areas. It could support because we need you in that position to start and be able to feel just the hip openness before we begin. So the setup is this. Um, whatever leg is in back, the first movement, bring your top arm up, just like so. What I want you to do is, well, keeping that arm up, focus on your back, your, in this case, my left side, oblique, whatever leg, whatever oblique is on the back side legs set up. That's the oblique I want you to focus on. I also want you to think about the back glute squeezing and pushing forward. So my uh, left side oblique and my left side glute are working together to work on stabilizing. And all I want you to do is keeping that torso tall. Okay, squeeze the back glute, brace the left oblique, touch and 20 times. Now, this is hard enough right here. If you can do 20 of these, we'll have you move on to the next sequence. So this exercise is 20, or a prescribed number of breaths. Touching the floor, touching your hand, touching the floor, touching the hand, feeling your oblique and your back glute. 